Mike, how's it felt just to get back out there the past few games? Great. Um, it's a long seven weeks, but um, no, it just feels great to play football again. Um, had a tough year and a half, and then had the injury on top of this. So uh, no, it just feels great uh, to contribute, be a part of the team again, and uh, just have some fun, get some wins. So yeah. What, what happened with the elbow? I mean, what was the exact injury? All right. So in all reality, I tore part of my tricep, and um, yeah, it takes a little while to heal. I'm sure you could imagine. So. Um, no, Chug and them have done a great job, Dave, and everybody gave me back as soon as they could. So um, I'm very thankful to them, and they know that. And uh, no, they, they got me back to where I can play well and, and be a functional part of this team. So I'm very thankful for that. It's still pretty painful on some, initially on IR, mm -hmm. and then you came back for like one day for practice. Was there like a setback, and then they put you mm, on Yeah, I mean, it just wasn't ready uh, in all reality. You know, anytime you – you know, miss a year. Uh, I'd like to think of myself in the prime of my career. So, uh, you know, you try to rush yourself back as quickly as possible. Uh, I just wasn't ready. So uh, you had to deal with that, how it comes. So, um, you know, like I said, things happen. Injuries happen in football, unfortunately. For the most part of six years, I've been blessed not to miss too many games. So uh, it's the longest time I ever sat out in the season. But um, thankfully, I'm healthy now, and we have a chance to shoot for the playoffs. So uh, I think I'm, I'm right on time as far as that goes. The, uh, it, it was an elbow injury and a tricep. Yeah, I had a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on. Um, so, yeah, no, nah, um, probably, you know, rushed myself back out there, um, tried to give it a go, Cleveland, and them making it worse. So, um, you know, like I said, they, they leave it up in my hands, and I decided to go out there in Cleveland, and, you know, stuff happens. It's football. But, um, like I said, it's a long seven weeks, but they kept me in good spirits. Um, they got me back strong enough to where I can play and contribute at a, at a good rate. So um, that's where I'm at. So uh, to, to confirm, it, it was a torn tricep? That's kind mm -hmm. of what part of it, not fully. fully? That would not require not surgery. So, yeah, just part of it. And you did no surgery, right? No, no. I wouldn't be back out here. Okay, and you, right. it happened in the Cleveland game? Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, you remember what? play or what how to how it happened in that particular game yeah i mean like i said football injuries happen so i'm sure if you talk to daniel about his bicep you know we play a dangerous game um long story short it don't really matter to me what play happened on but um uh if you watch the film you can see it but long story short is injury happened spent seven weeks on ir it's a rough time to watch football but thankfully we're in a position where we can make some things happen as far as the playoff goes. How did you try to keep your spirits up? What did you do in the seven weeks? Uh, just be around the guys and contribute as much as I can in the meeting room. Um, just be a good teammate, be a good friend to everybody in the room, everybody on the team, and uh, you know, just work my tail off to make sure when I got back I played as well as I possibly could and pick up where I left off. So I think I've been able to do that. It's a testament to our training room and our coaches just keeping me in the right place. Uh, losing Everson and Daniil, mm -hmm. uh, how I guess do you get the chemistry with whoever else is, is out there, the Sheldon or DJ, uh, when it comes to the pass rush? Yeah, um, you know, there's times in camp where you know older guys may sit out, but I think Dre's done a great job of just rotating guys and everybody having a feel for um, each other, and that's something he preached when I came in the building. OTAs, um, you know, different packages may require DJ to be out there, even at times. Before Everson was out, it was Everson inside and D out there and Sheldon and Armand. So um, I just think everybody understands who they are, you know, and understands, you know, when I'm out there with Griff or if I was out there with Sheldon, it's a different look and they'd like to do different things. So it's just understanding your teammates. And that's something Dre's preached since day one. And, um, you know, we've been able to reap the rewards, everybody understanding exactly who is playing next to them and, you know, how we're going to operate. Mike, do you know it you ever get injured trying not to rush yourself back? Or is this like, you know, thinking about how quickly you came back from the elbow Say that injury. one more time for me. If you're ever injured again, do you now maybe think twice about pushing yourself to get back before you're too soon? Or do, is just what have happened? No, because no. You felt um, when you're in my position, um, nose guard, stuff is going to happen regardless. Ankles, knees, whatever. So, um, no, nah, anytime I had the option to play, I'm going to get out there and play. Um, just being a leader on the team, being a leader on the D-line, I think that's your obligation to get out there and, you know, 
just because you rush yourself back doesn't mean you might not get injured the next game. So, um, no, nah, um, anytime I feel like I'm able to go, get out there and go. And uh, that's something like to Dalvin Cook's credit. He went out there after having a shoulder injury, and he's 200 yards later in the next game. So, um, no, nah, this is not something you can just predict, obviously. You know, you talk to the doctors, and they give you, you know, their synopsis of the situation, and you make the best decision for you. And anytime I'm able to play, I'm going to get out there and play. How, how good is the timing, though, you know, being back for this playoff run, and how big is uh, Sunday's game for you guys? No, I'm, I'm blessed to have this timing. So when I was out, you saw Armand take leaps and bounds. And he's had, I think he's had five sacks now. So uh, James has done really well. He got a couple sacks, especially in Carolina. So um, it's a testament to those guys. Not only, you know, you can't predict injuries, but just being prepared and being at the top of their game. So when people get out, you know, thankfully I was able to come back. But, you know, if we don't have those guys play at the level they do, we're not talking about the playoffs potentially. So, um, no, nah, Sheldon being able to kick out to defense end, most D tackles cannot do that, especially not at the level he's doing it. So um, it's just a testament to everybody being flexible, our coaching staff and Dre and them coming up with a scheme where we kick a three technique to DN on a regular basis, and it works. So um, it's a credit to Sheldon. It's a credit to Armand, James, Dalvin, the whole D-line, and uh, our coaching staff to, you know, Take what we presently have and make it work. And, you know, they've been rushing and we've been rushing at an elite level. And that's something we take pride in. And, you know, just got to keep rolling with the punches. What are the challenges about going against Matthew Stafford now? Um, it's a big challenge. Uh, he's an elite quarterback. Um, you know, I, didn't pl I haven't played him as much as some of these guys have. Uh, we played him once in, when he was in Detroit when I was in Baltimore. But he's an elite quarterback. He can make all the throws. He gets the ball out really, really fast, especially on those underneath routes to Cooper Cup and Odell and those guys. So, um, you know, we got our work cut out for us. Um, but, I mean, when you're looking to go to the playoffs every, each and every week, you got your work cut out for you. So um, we got some things that we want to do to execute and, you know, keep him off his game. And at the end of the day, it's about fighting fighting and making sure we get the job done with well, a big win, ugly win. I don't really care. It's about winning for me. So um, uh, we don't, I don't worry about the sack count or none of that stuff till you know, the end of the game. If we end up with a win, that's the most important thing. What has it been like to watch Sheldon on film like after, after the games and you go back and you're like, oh, that? To me, that it's amazing, crazy. man. Um, like I said, I don't know of too many three techniques no, I mean, if you watch him back at the Jets, I'm a little bit of a football historian. So I've, I've, I've seen him. We played him once when he was at the Jets. The dude just can play all up and down the line. Um, but he's done that in New York. He played stand-up outside linebacker for them. But, um, you know, you got to have some supremely talented dudes to even think to require somebody to do something like that. But, I mean, as far as his transition to five technique and being able to Understand all the calls, drops and coverage sometimes. Um, you, you're going to be hard-pressed to find too many guys that can do that, especially, at, you know, the weight he carries. So, um, no, it's been a pleasure, man, especially a run stopper. When I have a big guy at five technique, that makes my job so, so much easier. So, uh, no, I've, I've had it. I've enjoyed it. Um, I think he's done an amazing job. And like I said, I don't think there's too many guys who can do that on a down-to-down -down basis and, you know, perform well. So, Thank you guys. Have a good one.